Welcome everyone. In this course, you will learn how we can start with Power Automate. I will try to cover from very basic so that you can use this platform very easily. Feel free to comment below if you have any question or query. So, how Power Automate can help? There are many possibilities which can be done using Power Automate. For example, you can use to automate business processes or send automatic reminders for due tasks or to send any kind of reminders to employees or customers. Another use case could be move data between systems on a schedule. It has more than 500 data sources like SharePoint, SQL, OneDrive and many more. And there are many APIs as well which you can use or you can even automate tasks on your local computer like computing data in excel so there are many possibilities you can achieve using power automate so power automate in itself is very powerful power automate is all about automation it can help you to save time by automating repetitive manual tasks simply by recording mouse clicks, keystrokes and copy paste steps from your desktop. Immediately, you know, uh, the next question arrives in our mind is that what is required to start with Power Automate or what, what, what are the prerequisites to start with Power Automate? So basically, you know, as such, nothing major is required to start with basic Power Automate flows. Anyone can start creating their workflows using Power Automate, no code, low code platform. But it's good if you have basic understanding of conditions like if else, while, do while, and various loops like for each. So, it would be very helpful if you have knowledge of these things. The first step to start with Automate is by signing up or if you already have an account with Power Automate, you can sign in. To sign up, let me show you the page or the link. This is the sign up page. You can sign up free. This is the landing page. If you already have an account, you can directly use this link and you will be redirected to this page. I will provide this link in the description. On the home page of Power Automate, you can see there are different type of flows. Let me show you. Click here on create. As you can see here, uh, automated cloud flow, instant cloud flow, schedule cloud flow, desktop flow, business process flow. These are the available options. Flows are of three types. Cloud flows, desktop flows, business process flows. Cloud flows are further divided into automated cloud flows, instant flow and schedule flow. So automated flows, this type is used when you want to create an automation or flow when an event occurs like uh, email received from a specific person or the shared mailbox. This flow is used when you want to manually trigger the created flow or automation. For example, instantly send a reminder to the team member by clicking a button from mobile device. The next is the schedule cloud flow. This flow is used when you want to run your flow at specific time or interval. For example, daily data upload to SharePoint or a database. So in such scenarios, you should create scheduled cloud flow. Next is desktop flow. Using Power Automate for desktop, you can automate tasks on the desktop as well as the web. We'll cover more about these 
in the coming videos the last category here is business process flows business process flows provides the visual presentation of process so in such cases we use business flows this is all about the type of flows we'll cover more about the specific flows like these in the coming videos in depth and we'll create uh, flows from the scratch as well feel free to comment below if you have any question or any query